I can have everybody's attention, uh, we welcome into the uh, Enfield Media Center Mark Martin, um, who finished uh, today second in the FedEx 400 Benefiting Autism Speaks. Mark, this is your first top five of the season. Talk a little bit about the race today. You guys hear me? It was another great race at Dover. Golly, I love this place. Uh, I always get excited about coming here to race. And, uh, you know, we were... Uh, we had a really fast race car, and today we finally got a finish. It looked like we were going to get 15th again with a really fast race car. We've had a race car this good a lot this year, but it seems like for some reason or another we wind up in the back of the pack, and we just don't have enough to climb our way back to the, to the front. So this was a good, uh, good race for us, a uh, great call by Lance McGrew, and uh, uh, great teamwork. Uh, we've had great teamwork all year, and uh, I'm really proud. I'm, I'm proud of this race team. I'm proud of these guys. We'll open it up for questions here in the media center. If you'll raise your hand, we'll get a wireless mic to you. State your name and affiliation. We'll start with you, Dave. Yeah, Mark, Dave Robin with NASCAR.com. Lance made the call to stay out. How good was your car after the green flag expected to how you might have expected it would be? It was good. It was good. It was uh, – I feel like it could contend uh, – you know, Matt had uh, two tires there and had a little advantage on us for a little bit. And then after after a little bit, uh, we seemed to start breaking even. And, uh, you know, I know he had a little bit left, but I had enough, uh, I had enough speed to uh, be right there without tires. All the guys behind me were, were dropping off. So, um, you know, it, it, we've had race cars this good this year. Uh, we just, uh, we just, every time we turn around, something... Uh, goes against us, so uh, it was nice to have things go our way. Did you have a chance to discuss the call, or was it just his? Uh, next question. Any other questions from the media center? Raise your hand. Okay, we got one back here in the back. We'll get a wireless mic to you. Mark, uh, you talking about hurt? You hurt a little. Mark, can you just talk about how hard it was to uh, to catch somebody who's out in front? It seemed like whoever's out in front got a got a good one, two second lead, and it was hard to catch back up with them. Well, like I said uh, earlier this week, all the cars are almost the same speed, so it's incredibly difficult. This is uh, the 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 era of NASCAR racing that we have today. You know, 20 years ago, uh, you know there weren't so many cars the same speed, and passing was and overtaking was easy. Not so easy now because you've got the world's greatest drivers, 40 deep, and 40 darn good race cars out there too. So um, that's to be expected. Okay, we also welcome into the media center uh, Marcus Ambrose, driver of the number nine, uh, DeWalt, who finished third in the uh, race today. So we'll open it up for questions for both of these gentlemen in the infield media center. I think, Mark, did you have a question next? Uh, yes, please. Uh uh, this is for Marcus, uh, Mark Allman, NASCAR.com. You had a third at Bristol, another concrete racetrack. Uh, is there something about your driving style, or is it just that uh, the, the car is that good today? Uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. <clears throat> I don't know the answer to it, but I get good feel on these concrete tracks. Some of the issues uh, for me when I'm having a bad day, I have trouble feeling each tyre. I feel like the whole car is slipping around. I can't really feel which one it is. So on concrete, I think it's the steeper banking. There's more vertical load. I think it just helps me feel the tyres a little better. But today was a tough day. You know, there was, the track was changing every run, you know, throughout the run. Uh, the rubber was picking up, and my car was getting really slick on that rubber. So um, there wasn't much you could do. You know, you couldn't ask for much changes on the car because you just knew that it was going to be that way all day. And then you just got to keep changing your line, keep searching. Next question. Gary Graves, USA Today for Marcos. This has been an evolution for you for the last couple of years on, on ovals. I mean, when you talk about your, uh, what you wanted to learn, I mean, where do you feel like you are now, especially after a race like this where you started, where you finished, and, and really how steady you were today in terms of moving up the field? Yeah, uh, this today I'm, I'm really excited about because we had a really good day at Darlington. Didn't quite work out our way at the end, finished 13th. We've had some terrible luck. We've had two top tens on the two one half mile speedways so far this year, so I'm really excited that our team is learning. They're learning me. I'm learning them. I'm learning how these cars work, 
And, uh, you know, this result today I'm really excited about because I think it's going to going to lead to a great Charlotte, uh, Pocono, Indy, all these, you know, Kansas, all these great big tracks coming. I feel like our team is really suited to those tracks and uh, and I'm excited about it. You know, we've just had some, some rough luck so far this year. We've had <coughs> accidents and incidents outside our control. It's really hurt our points. Additional questions from the media center? Any other questions from the media? Any questions from the press box? For Mark? Or okay, gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you very much for coming in this afternoon.